My name is Arun Babu. I lead the business operations practice for Deloitte Africa. And uh, this topic of value creation from cloud or cloud economics is becoming more and more important. It's a theme that we are hearing from our client execs quite regularly. And today's conversation, I'm going to try and summarize some of the key themes we consider in the economics of cloud and how organizations across the continent should be thinking about this in the years to come. So it's definitely not a buzzword. So cloud is not something new to most organizations on the continent. All of us individually and all organizations are consuming it and making use of it in some form or shape. So the only thing that's changing is the scale and sort of the velocity of adoption of cloud across these organizations. So traditionally, the economics of cloud has been explained as a cost arbitrage of moving your infrastructure costs from your traditional data centers to actually uh, shared capabilities that sits on either private or public cloud. And that has been the primary conversation around the cost uh, case for moving to cloud. And then there was a shift from CapEx to OpEx. Okay, So instead of spending money on capital expenditure upfront, you have a on-demand scalable cost that you can incur as needed. I mean, these were the two conversations that we saw organizations have over the last few years. But that said, we are suddenly seeing a significant shift of this conversation. It's no longer about just cost arbitrage or what you can achieve by efficiency of workloads running on cloud infrastructure versus your own. If I go back to the cloud economics, the three key factors I have conversations with clients about. The first one we discussed was cost. Then the two more exciting things that we should be talking about and far more values created from cloud is around agility. So how agile can we make an organization? And what's the value of making an organization more adaptive Adaptable and more agile. And secondly, capabilities. I and mean, how can we increase the capability of an organization and acquire capacity and capability which you can't incrementally hiring people one at a time? So I'm using an example that's well known in the market in this case, uh, Blockbuster uh, being disrupted by Netflix. So it wasn't a significant period of time from the emergence of Netflix to complete disruption of a blockbuster business model. And that is not the end of the story. So Netflix itself is likely to get disrupted by the next player. So if you look at Netflix's uh, letters to the shareholders, they accepted that Fortnite, a gaming platform, is more likely to disrupt them in the near future than HBO is. Your competitors are not emerging from so your traditional players. You are getting competition from anyone that can emerge their business models and create new ways of getting into value chains of other organizations faster and better than you can. So there's even better examples. I mean, recently we've seen the Zoomification of the world. I mean, if you think about Zoom, it is a reasonably sim simple technology that should not have been allowed to compete in such a scale by the likes of Google and Skype. I mean, Skype was there years before Zoom arrived. Okay. Google Hangouts had a significant head start on Zoom in terms of early adoption, but Zoom scaled its capability and focused on a niche and disrupted and created significant, I mean, hundreds of billions of, uh, of dollars of value that should not have been allowed by either Google or Microsoft. So in this case, the disruptor got disrupted. And then that's the world we are moving into where there's no form of stability around who is the disruptor. I mean, it's a constant evolution and the only constant is going to be change. So that's where cloud plays a significant role. So we try to articulate that concept of the value of cloud in three forms. I mentioned on the right side, it's referred to scalability on the slide. Let's include cost into it. So cost and scalability, a well-known, well-understood concept. Now I mentioned the concept of agility. And I think this is something that I'm quite passionate about for all organizations across the continent is we need to speed up the inherent velocity of change in organizations. We are too slow. We are not adapting to customer needs and emerging trends. And cloud can play a substantial role in transforming the pace of organizations. And I think there's inherent value in it. What is the value of launching a product 10 times faster? What's the value of entering a new market much faster than you could in a traditional setup? What's the value of being able to reconfigure parts of your organization, take it out, bring it back together, and cloud allows us to do that. So we've now touched on two of the three concepts. First was cost and scalability. Second was around accessing a level of pace and agility for your organization. And the third one, is around accessing capability. So if you think about our continent, one of, one of our biggest impediments to digital transformation is access to talent. So accessing a talent in emerging technologies, blockchain, big data, machine learning, all of these capabilities, there's a dearth of talent that we are actually facing as a continent. 
So what cloud actually allows you is access to global IP that is sourced from around the world and made accessible to you. Any organization of any scale can be small, medium, large. You at a click of a button can access enormous amount of IP and, and capability at a very low cost. So that's what is going to allow small organizations to build immensely complicated capabilities with low cost and disrupt existing big players, but also is an opportunity for big players to access that capability and morph itself. So I urge all organizations across the continent to not limit your imagination of cloud to just the cost benefits of moving infrastructure from one form to the other, but also tap into AWS and other cloud providers, amazing emerging capabilities in IoT, in, in machine learning, in many others that can actually fundamentally transform your organization.